Hello! Today, we are going to test the new version of Pika, the 1.0. So, here we can see that we can enter our prompt. So first, I'm going to enter the style I want. Then, I'm going to enter the prompt of my first image. I see that I have access to options for my video. Here, I can choose a format. I stay on the cinematic format. Here I have the frame per second, I don't change that. Here I can change the motion control. And here the novelty is that this time I can accumulate effects. Pan, so I can choose that my video is on the right or on the left. Tilt, here to know if the camera will go up or down. Rotation and a zoom effect. So, here I can, for example, say, since it is an IRA view, it may interest me that at some point my camera goes down and zoom. At the level of the amount of movement, 2, I think it's good, so I stay on it. Then, here I can modify my parameters. And now, we see that we can enter the negative prompt directly here. The seed is if I want to resume the same video, I will type its seed in this here. The consistency with the prompt. So here I'm going to put 10. Well, I could very well import an image or a video here. And so there I will launch the generation of my image by clicking on the little star. I can also press enter. And that's it. My video is waiting here. So I can generate several videos on this same setting. So for that, I just need to click on retry here. So I'm going to do three, for example. So the first one that will be done will be this one, then this one, then this one. It generated my videos. I can also place myself using here, place myself like this. So the first video, the second, finally the last one. I'm going to go to the second. So now I have access to other possibilities. First and can decide to reprompt this image. For that, I click on Reprompt. And I have access again to my settings. I can also decide to edit this image, so I click on Edit. Two new things have appeared, Modify Region and Expand Canvas. So Expand Canvas. If I click on it, I have all the dimensions that I had at the beginning. But I can also have other formats. And what is quite incredible is that I can expand my image to transform it into the right format. I need my video for a social network format like TikTok, etc. I'm going to want to extend it to this format. I put my start prompt back, of course, because I always want my forest. I put my style, obviously. And I'm going to click on Generate my image. We'll see what it gives. In the same way, I can generate several generally free. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Then here, if I go back, I want to have more forests in this format. Well, I can change the side of my basic video and say, for example, film me everything that happens here and in the same way I will generate here. So, I have my work windows. So, as I told you, you can go like this, but I think it's much more practical to visualize this way. So, what is also super interesting is that you see there are little icons here at the top, each time. And it tells you exactly what you have worked on on this proposal. 
But here, on the other end, we see here that we have applied modify region and that it comes from a work on a video. Here we see the little icon expand canvas that we worked on the video. And here also the little icon expand canvas. So, you see quite quickly what you have created. A little thing to know, earlier I told you you have to press here to regenerate your video. Because if you do it directly here by pressing several times, by generating several times, your video will show up afterwards here. Visually to work, it's a little bit messy. <laughs> While here each work time is grouped in fact. So here we see that on our expand canvas, where we want it to work vertically, well, that's it. It generates us the image. So we can look at them. Here is what it gives, the second image. So we still see that it holds up well. Even if then obviously you do not hesitate to regenerate. But still, I find that it's pretty crazy. And then we had here, you remember, I wanted from my 16th create a little more. So here is the result. First, first proposal. The second proposal. And finally, the last proposal. I like this cinematic, but I find it a bit short. Well, instead of clicking on edit this time, I'm going to click on these three little dots and I can add time. So I can add four seconds. So I click on add four seconds. So here it added me four seconds. So I regenerate again, so it is a new proposal. So it will be placed here. In the same way, I can generate several. You always have on these three little points the possibility of upscaling your video to have a better quality rendering. So, I'm going to wait to have added my four seconds and if there is a plan that suits me, then at that time I will do an upscale on it. Okay, so there it generated my four seconds more. So, first plan it. Second proposal. And finally the third proposal. I like this proposal with the light effect in the background. So obviously we cannot hesitate to regenerate, so change things to get something that suits us. But we can get very interesting things by adding seconds. So if I want to go on this version, I want to upscale it. Well, as I showed you, we press these three little dots and we will click on upscale and there it will generate the upscale. You see, there is always added for second upscale. So now I have my video upscaled. We can see that the quality is better. So I want to test with you a plane with a character so here I put my prompt, I will put my negative prompt, usual. I want that it follows my indication, anyway motion control, then this time with something interesting we can also add directly in this prompt. Here for example I want a dolly zoom, so I can write dolly zoom here. Then I go to a motion control, so there are ones. And in the forest that is looking for, that is curious, that is wandering, I want the camera to turn a little bit around him to add to this effect where it observes around him. Here it is, it generates separate image for me, so the first, the second one, 
and we clearly see the dualism effect. So here I continued with other. For example, I told him that the little bull is watching animals since he is there to get his animal totem. So I gave him this proposal, this one. What I found quite crazy in this new version is the general animation of the image, which is much more vivid, much more fluid. And here, if we want to have fun, for example, in this image, in this video, I can choose to edit modify region. And here, for example, I select the area of his eyes and I will write here blue eyes and I will generate. So there, on my eye modification, it changed the color of my eyes. For example here, I like this framing but I don't know why he put a character here. So I'm going to click on edit, modify region and I'm going to select this face. Here I'm going to say remove character quite simply. I'm going to mark that, see if it works. I'm testing live with you. <laughs> I've never tried before, so I'm discovered. We discovered together. And so there, it's magic. Here, the face has disappeared. So I'm going to keep creating my different plans and then I showed it as I usually do with CapCut and I'll show you what it looks like when finished so see you soon in a world where trees whisper ancient secrets a young boy walks a path of light and shadow with a heart pure and eyes wide open he seeks his animal brothers his spiritual guide in the whirlwind of the wind, the spirit of the eagle appears, powerful and free. In the mirror of eagle's eyes and the child sees his destiny, a journey of courage and hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this test of this new version of Pika will have inspired you with beautiful ideas. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye bye.